Hi, and welcome to a Messianic Minute. I know that it's been a minute since I've done one of these, um, but if you haven't already checked out my other video, it is on the word chayil. And today we are going to be talking about the Hebrew word safa, because today we're going to be talking about being a watchman and praying amazing war room prayers for your life and for the lives of those that you love. Now, if you've never seen the movie, The War Room, I recommend that you see it because it's a great movie. But in this movie, there's a character called Miss Clara who has a war room set up in her closet where for years and years, she has been praying over people and situations and even her own marriage. And she mentors a young woman who's going through marital problems to do the same thing. And she starts to follow Miss Clara's advice and she starts to see amazing, miraculous things happen in her marriage. Once we take our hands off of things in our lives, we allow God to operate and we allow God to make those changes. Now the Hebrew word safa means to stand guard, to watch, to be observant, to be expectant. When you look at the Bible, a watchman was somebody who would sit on the city walls or stand on the city walls and they would guard the city and they would sound the alarm at the first sign of the enemy. When we set up our war room and whether that war room like Miss Clara's is in a closet or whether it's in your car or whether it's on your bed, you can stand guard and keep the enemy at bay. You can lift your marriage, your job, your relationships, your children up to God and take your hands off the situation and let him go to work. But you don't have to stand guard idly. You should be in prayer. You should be recording those prayer requests and recording the answers the same way the young woman in the war room did. And one of the things that I love the most about the movie without giving too much away is the young woman, Elizabeth, went through her house and she took back each area of her life from the enemy. She demanded that the enemy leave and to take his hands off her home, off of her, off of her child, and more specifically, off of her marriage. She basically gave him his walking orders. Now you can immediately begin to do this with a war room binder. If you don't have a closet that you can go to, I love the idea of a closet because it's a nice quiet place where you can kind of get away and and pray but if you can't do that as i said you can do um these prayers anywhere and one way that you can do that is by creating a war room binder for yourself where you can keep record of all these prayer requests everybody that you lift up and see how god is working in your life and in the lives of other people along the way so remember the word safa Remember to stand guard, to watch, to be aware, and lift up every situation to God. Take your hands off of it when you do, and let God go to work in those difficult situations in your life.